I'm cooking fish soup today. For this, I chopped some medium-sized onion, four cloves of garlic. I like it to be garlic in this dish. Carrots, potato, and one quartered lemon or lime, whatever you have. Got, because with the fish, I always like it a little bit acidy. So this has been cooking. The potatoes are getting soft, which I can just feel it. How long have you been cooking that? About probably? 20 minutes there. And then with this, I add some water, boiling water, always boiling water to it. Full of this one is tomato based uh, and garlic baked, or you can use only tin of tomato or half tin of tomato with a teaspoonful of tomato puree to give it a little bit of sharpness. But I've got this dish, this, this uh, paste, I'm using it. This is doing nicely. With this dish, you don't have to use potato, carrots. You can use whatever you got in your fridge. So it's absolutely lovely to use anything you got left over in the fridge, use it. Don't let it to get old and put it in the bin. That's what I always do. And then I taste it. Absolutely lovely. I put a little bit of salt and uh, with this dish I use Spoonful of fish sauce. Can you get that anywhere? Really? You can get it anywhere. You can get it any continental shops anywhere it, these days. You can put get it in the uh, supermarkets anywhere. You can get it. Yes. So onion, garlic, potatoes, carrots. Spoonful of fish sauce. Two. In my case, three spoonful of baked potato and uh, tomato and garlic, or tin of tomato, half tin of tomato, and tin full of uh, uh, tomato puree to give it the sh sharpness. This is getting ready in the fridge. I had some peas. I'm going to put add some peas to it. This is done. I always say that when I go and get a bunch of parsley or coriander, I dry freeze them. So it's always handy to dry freeze them. Otherwise, if you use them and put them in the fridge after a day or so, you got to throw them out because they rotted. And what is that? That's really? the coriander. Now. You can use parsley if you, if you wish. It's not a it's not a recipe you can't change it. You can change it to anything you want. So I can feel, I can see it is getting along. I put a little bit of more water to it, boiling water always. And then I always say that if your dish is getting a little bit runny, Put one teaspoonful of corn flour with cold water and add it to it. If it's too thick, you can just put a little bit of, add a little bit of boiling water to it. So, I can see this is getting ready. What I'm going to do, 
I've got two pieces of lovely cord which I'm going to put it in there doesn't take long five minutes the uh, this dish should be ready and then I have in the fridge again I never waste anything or throw anything I had some kale so I'm going to put the kale in there as well It's a very hearty dish. It is a hearty dish, especially today. This morning is quite cold, so you can make this one, and uh, it's absolutely delicious with a piece of crusty bread. If you wish, so. And how long would you cook it like that with the when, fish? In? When the fish is in there, not more than three, four minutes, five minutes. It's not because there is a, it's a cod, so the cod doesn't take long to cook. But three minutes, four minutes, it'd be ready. So this fish should be ready in three minutes. It's all good for you. It's got the kale in there. It's got the garlic. It's got onions. It's got uh, um, carrots. So it's got peas. So it's got everything you need for uh, uh, five days is in there. So make it and enjoy it because especially cold weather like this, you know, this, these these dishes are lovely to make and uh, 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 for lunch, for supper, for whatever uh, uh, you need. You know, so it's, it's beautiful. And uh, I'm going to dish this one in a minute and I'm going to enjoy it because it is gorgeous. I mean, you can see the fish is getting ready. It doesn't take long for the fish to cook. So, so really, the fish is getting ready. All my other vegetable was, has been cooked, has been, it was ready. So really, in a minute, I'm going to dish it and I'm going to really Enjoy it so you beautiful. don't need to put any lid on that at no, all? No, you don't need to. You don't need to at all because everything else is done, everything is ready. And then the fish, as I said, is a, is a cod and cod doesn't take long to cook. So if you can see, it's flaking. So this is the time I turn it off and uh, I'm going to dish it up. I'll put the fish first because I don't want to flake them and with all those vegetables it makes a large amount of food it does it? make a lot of money with a little bit of fish you can make a big meal for small amount of fish which is this is all my ideas to make a good meal not too expensive just good price and uh, you can uh, you can feed four people with this and uh, it is a little bit of olive oil and I'll put a teaspoonful of chili Flake, chili flake in this as well so I hope you make it and I hope you're going to enjoy it because this is absolutely gorgeous